So if you're a regular of this channel, you know I'm a Japanese show only kind of gal. But lately I've been getting asked a lot about Korean show. And for good reason, it has a lot of the cute and sweet attributes of Japanese show. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you a couple of key differences among the two gels. Hey there, I am Paola of paolaponsenails.com and I'm a certified Japanese gel nail stylist and instructor. Now, if this is your first time hearing about Japanese gel, um, okay, <laughs> let me give you a quick crash course. All Japanese gel is is high quality soak off true gel from Japan. And I think what began bringing an enormous amount of attention to it was the extremely kawaii, cutesy, fun 3D nail art done with just gel. Lots of Hello Kitty kind of art. But since then, the JG industry has shifted from that type of nail art. Not that there's anything wrong with a good old classic 3D Hello Kitty set. But now, Japanese gel has matured into the most perfect gel nail product to create classic and timeless looks from a classy shade of red to a super quaint tortoise print nail art design. And the beautiful thing about Japanese show and why I'm such a big advocate, yeah, like just the little, you know, is because as an American trained nail tech that was taught that in order to be successful, I had to offer it all, you know, acrylics, hard gels, gel polish, regular polish. Gosh, and now we're throwing like poly gels and quick tips and so much other new systems in the mix. When I came across Japanese gel, I was so pleasantly surprised to find out that I could do it all, not by caring at all, but by simply mastering one nail system, soft gel via Japanese gel. Yep, with Japanese gel, I could create a short length gel manicure, natural nail overlays, and even extensions of the natural nail. Yes, just with one nail system, not five. So either way, that is my backstory to JG, which is Japanese show. If you would like to learn more about my personal journey with it, I do have a free training down in the description box below for you to check out at the end of this video. At the end of this video, don't go anywhere. Okay, back to today's topic. So as of maybe a year ago now, I've started seeing Korean brands start making an entry to the industry. I first saw the Estimio brand carried by a popular reseller here in the states and now also the distributor of leave joe here in the states is carrying a korean brand called from the nail or f gel for short now for me the estimio tall bottle thing just wouldn't work because traveling and putting in cases it's just not a universal fit but it's super cute and as i did a tiny bit of research on both distributor sites i learned four characteristics of korean joe number one Again, the packaging, just like Japanese show, is super cute, very eye-catching, and without noticing much else, you're like, I need that. <laughs> Number two, it seems like the colors from a Korean gel line are actually all offered in brush-on bottle form and are strongly pigmented, just like a lot of Japanese shows can be. And so contrary to Japanese show, the colors are not offered in potted form. While some Japanese gel nail brands like Vetro and Presto don't mind carrying both bottled or or and potted color gels. So again, Korean gel currently seems to be the most pigmented gel in a bottle, and I think that is their whole value proposition. And number three, it seems that although a potted gel system is not the main concept of a Korean gel line, they do not oppose potted gel altogether and can actually offer their clear formulas in pod versus bottle. At least that is true with the Korean line Estimio. F gel does only bottle. Number four, Korean gel lines also claim to be responsibly made, just like Japanese show, with quality ingredients and so-called non-toxic ingredients. And I say non-toxic because that term can really mean anything in the beauty industry. I'm sure you've seen it a lot. Non-toxic is actually not an FDA regulated term, so it can mean anything you want it to mean. Most of the time, non-toxic means that a few known carcinogens are eliminated from the ingredients used to create the product. It can also mean that it does not cause adverse effects if you inhale vapors, but again, up to interpretation. I kind of just stay away from mentioning that in my services altogether. You best believe that if you ingest a product only meant for topical use, like if you eat it, you will most likely experience a very toxic effect two minutes later as you become violently ill. 
If you want my professional opinion, I judge gel nail products based on the monomer concentration and what the monomers are within that gel. Monomers are used for adhesion and dilution purposes in the gel. They're not this evil, wicked thing. However, some people may be more sensitive than others to them. And the reason why I make this emphasis on what monomer and what amount of it is it in a gel is because I believe monomer concentrations to be where most of the allergic reactions can come about from gel nail products. Two popular monomers you should know about are Hema and ethyl acetate. And I've talked a lot about this topic in a previous video. So do make sure to make time to watch it. As someone who is mildly allergic to monomers, I typically don't have a problem with anything containing HEMA, but ethyl acetate I do, which is why I avoid nail primers like the plague. I get super itchy and rashes and all of that. And you should know that typically both Japanese gels and Korean gels don't need a separate dehydrator or primer prior to application of your first coat of base gel, which is a super added bonus to using Korean and Japanese gels. Now, in regard to nail art styles, Korean art is more pop, a lot more charms, 3D actions still very present, and it may definitely mature like Japanese show into a style for all to make their own, but right now, pop is kind of where they're at. While on the other hand, Japanese gel nail stylists, generally speaking, of course, are more into color blending and mixing colors and smaller daintier embellishments. They don't always need super pigmented color gels as they tend to use a very light touch to create soft, abstract, and what is being called nuance type nail art within the Japanese community. Now, if you're wondering if you can mix these gels like over each other, overall, I have read that Korean gels and Japanese gels play well together. And as both being quality soak off gel systems, I don't see why not, so lay away. One last thing about odor, judging from the Korean gel I own, it is very low odor just like Japanese gel is. So that might have to do a lot with the toxicity kind of conversation we had earlier. In a nutshell, I think that the strongest value proposition of Korean gel is that of being the strongest pigmented and high quality gel within a brush on bottle. Below in the description box, you can find links and discount codes for you to shop these quality gel formulas. Don't forget also to watch my free training and any other free resources we may have for you there. And I want to treat you for having stayed with this video. And so I have a mini giveaway of three Korean gel line polishes to give away. So find that link in the description box also. Have a happy day and a productive week. Subscribe and I'll see you next week.